Weather forecasts come from TVs and mobile devices, right? Uh, not exactly. They start as photons and data collected in space by instruments like the Advanced Baseline Imager on the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's GOZAR series weather satellite. Here's how it works and how GOZAR will help forecasters make more accurate predictions. The ABI is like a digital camera in panoramic mode. It scans a horizontal strip across the top of the Earth, then shifts down and repeats 21 more times until the entire side of the planet is imaged in just five minutes. Old imagers took 26 minutes and needed 1,356 strips to cover the Earth. At the same time, the ABI is collecting this full image faster than before. Images of areas with storm activity can be collected in 30-second intervals, providing very rapid updates of developing storms. Let's put this into perspective. 30 seconds is roughly the length for you to take and upload a selfie. The ABI isn't just fast, its resolution is even better than earlier imagers. Comparatively, it's the difference between standard and HD television. It's also opening up new channels, so scientists will know more about ice cover, wind, humidity, ozone, cloud cover, volcanic ash, and vegetation. The ABI produces 95% of the data coming from all six of Gozar's instruments. Combined, they'll send the equivalent of about 210 HD movies to the ground each day. Keeping up with this huge amount of data requires an equally matched ground system to turn it into information and also control the satellite. The satellite's instruments collect raw data that's sent to the ground via huge antennae that can withstand wind gusts up to 150 miles per hour. Directing and controlling the satellite is another important part of the ground system. Operators on the ground tell the satellite and instruments what to do and also control the position of the satellite in space. NOAA's ground segment is located at two sites with a third backup site. The ground system processes the data into information products for meteorologists and sends them to users by way of a special weather data processor, another access system, or by rebroadcasting to users worldwide. There's also an archive system available over the web where information is stored for use later. Data can be delivered to the National Weather Service in 30 seconds. That's about the same time to plug an address into GPS. The ground system must run smoothly because if the data gets clogged, the information becomes less relevant, making forecasts less accurate. So downtime must be very rare and short. No more time than it takes to tweet just once in a year. So what does all of this mean? More accuracy, all with the goal of saving lives, property, and resources. Learn more about Harris Environmental Solutions at www.harris.com.